Hi, my name is Kmod. I'd like to continue with the calculation of tax liability for natural persons. In this presentation, I'd like to tackle the additional medical tax expense credit. And for ease of reverence, I'd like to refer to this presentation as part six. In part five, I already dealt with the calculation relating to tax expense. Without wasting your time, I'd like us to look at the November 2016 question four, and I'm going to continue to use the Excel spreadsheet. Let's quickly go to the Excel spreadsheet. We end that there. Let me quickly highlight that so that you can follow. I'm just going to use just any color. There you go. That's basically where we end it. Um, um, now we're going to proceed. Allow me to highlight that. Uh, let me rather use green. We're going to proceed with that item to determine what we call the uh, additional medical tax credit expense. In terms of section, see, I got section wrong. Let me quickly correct it. All right, just in terms of section 6B of the South African Income Tax Act. A, a taxpayer who contributes towards the medical aid will be granted what we call a medical tax credit a fee in terms of sex, six, uh, section 6A. And in addition, the taxpayer will be granted an additional medical tax credit expense in terms of section uh, 6b let's quickly do the calculations for us to determine the additional medical tax credit we're going to take um, a contributions contributions i'm just going to do a bracket so that you can see exactly where we took the contributions from i'm quickly going to go to a question paper there we go contributions it will be contributions by tip, it will be contributions by tip. I'm not sure if I can re-highlight. Let me re-highlight with that color. So it will be contributions by tip and contributions by the employer. So we're going to take the two amounts and add them together. So I think it was uh, 35,000 plus 15,000. So I'm going to take the 35,000, it's total contributions. 15,000. So for us to determine the additional medical tax credit, we're going to uh, commence by taking contributions uh, that were contributed by both the employer and the employee towards the medical aid. Uh, I'm going to use this as a calculation column. So I'm going to say equals to, I'm simply going to take the 35 plus the 15,000. There you go. At this stage, I Quickly to warn students that you can't take that amount and write it there because it's not the final amount. We're going to uh, do a calculation that will result into a final amount that we'll take into that cell. I'm just going to highlight it in green. At this stage, we're doing calculations, calculations. I'm not sure if you want a different highlighter. Let's see if we can get something nice. There we go. Let's use that one. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's blue. Let's use blue. Remember, this is a calculation that will be taken into account in determining the final figure that will be transferred to additional medical tax credit. Section 6B says you're going to take the contributions and um, you're going to less three times. Medical tax credit. I'm, I'm just going to use the acronym MTC. MTC refers to the medical tax credit. So that's MTC. It refers to the medical tax credit. So I'm going to uh, take a three, uh, four times, four times, apologies, I'm just going to write four, the number four, four times. So basically, this is a rule in terms of section 6B. We specifically told that if you're dealing with a taxpayer, who's uh, less than 65, that's essentially how you're going to calculate it. So I'm going to establish a bracket there quickly. So I'm going to say four. Remember, this is embedded in the rule. Uh, we specifically told that we need to take four into account. The four has got nothing to do with the number of dependents. It has to do with the fact that in terms of section 6b, we specifically told that if we're dealing with any taxpayer who's less than uh, uh, 65 in determining the uh, additional medical tax credit, we're going to take uh, that uh, formula into 
consideration. So I'm going to insert there. There you go. Insert close. We're going to multiply that by the medical tax credit. That's we're going to multiply by that medical tax. That you simply take exactly that you what you determine under your medical tax credit. Then you're going to put it there. Let's multiply eight five four four. Close bracket. Remember, I also want to do a calculation there. It's a less, so I'm going to start by saying it's equal sign. I'm going to insert the minus because it's a negative figure. I'm going to say four times um okay, let me get rid of the minus because we already have a minus there. I'm going to multiply by that. Okay, let's let me rather do it again. I'm going to say four times apologies I'm going to multiply by that there you go it will result into that figure I just want to change the, the number formatting quickly allow me um, should have done it before the presentation there you go there you go so essentially what section 6b states is that in order for you to determine the additional medical tax credit, you're going to take the contributions. And remember, these are contributions by both um, the, the, the employer and the employee. You're going to add them together. And then those contributions must exceed four times medical tax credit. So these contributions must exceed four times medical tax credit. That, that we have determined that's the four times. Remember, it's a rule. It's a rule, just like we have rules in South Africa, when you get to your stop sign, you stop, do your observation, and then uh, if you're the first to arrive at the stop sign, if there's anyone else, and if it's safe to go, you will go. It's rules, just like that. So this is a rule. Allow me to go to home. Ah. Apologies, uh, I need a line there. There you go. There you go, line there. Okay, let me rather use that line. There you go. So you're going to take uh, that amount, you're going to less that amount, I'm going to take it, I'm going to say equals to, I'm going to take that amount. I'm, I'm just going to make, it'll work out better if I just say sum of, sum of that amount. So essentially, if you're in an exam situation and you're writing this manually, you're going to take the 50,000 and minus that amount. You're going to get a positive figure, which is 15,824. And moving along swiftly, you're going to add, remember these are the rules as contained in section 6B. You're going to add qualifying, what is referred to as qualifying medical expense. Medical expense. So this is the rule as I've mentioned. There you go. Let's quickly go to the question paper. If qualifying medical expenses are given, you're going to take them into account. Remember, for certain taxpayers, they might not necessarily incur qualifying medical expense in a particular year of assessment. In this case, tiptoe incurred qualifying medical expense. I'm just quickly going to highlight it says medical expense paid and not covered by the medical aid. Let me just see if I can use a different color. There you go. So, so, so qualifying medical expenses for the purpose of these calculations are referred to as uh, medical expenses that the taxpayer paid out of his pocket. You know, you contribute towards the medical aid, but if the medical aid is exhausted and you still need uh, the doctor to assist you, medical assistance from the doctor, you're likely to pop out the money out of your pocket. So the money that you take out of your pocket is referred to as medical expense. So we're going to take that amount for the purpose of our calculation. 4,800, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it there. So let's quickly, okay, I just, I think I just need to write the amount. 4,800, there you go. Just to make sure that Excel recognizes the 4,800. So let's quickly go through uh, the formula once more. Again, once you've determined that, you know how we did, you're going to take uh, that amount. Okay, I'm just going to remove that. Uh, you're going to take that amount, as already mentioned, uh, deduct that amount, you're going to get the total amount, 
And then you're going to add the qualifying medical expenses. I know most students normally say, what? It's a rule. That's how the receiver would like us to do it. It's a rule. So we just ex execute the rules in order to determine the tax consequences relating to additional medical tax expense. And then we're going to say less. It's a rule. Please practice this. Practice makes perfect, so they say. So we're going to say less, 7.5%. Remember once more again, this is a rule that's provided in section 6b. We're going to multiply by, let me quickly multiply, insert, there you go. We're going to multiply by taxable income. Taxable, taxable income. So I'm writing the description so that you're able to do it on your own. So taxable income, so I'm just going to insert and show you how we're going to do the calculation. So we're going to say 7.5%. We're going to multiply by taxable income. Let's quickly go take the taxable income. The taxable income will be the last taxable income as determined by the calculation of the taxable income of the taxpayer. So it's 147,720. So it's 147,720. There you go. Enter. So let's do. Excel calculation. So we're just going to say equals to it was 7.5% multiplied by 147720. Is that correct? Let me quickly go check the confirm the tax income. I think it's correct. Let me quickly go confirm. That's correct. Once more again, I'd like to emphasize. None of the, those amounts have been taken to, to, to the final column. Remember, as per the final column at this stage, in determination the tax expense, we have the tax as per table, and we've, we've deducted the rebates that will be granted. Now we also want to determine a rebate referred to as additional medical tax credit. To determine that rebate, that, that rebate we have to um, take into account the formula relating to additional medical tax credit expense. Moving along swiftly, remember it's less, so we need to put a negative sign there. Negative sign, so there you go. Ahmed. I need to put a negative sign. Apologies, negative sign just quickly so that it's negative. There you go. We're almost there. Please hold on. We're almost there. Please hold on. Uh, maybe I need to take this and uh, I need to take this quickly. We're almost there. There you go. Just wanted to magnify those. So we're going to take a sum of from here to there. So essentially, we're going to take that amount that we determine, take that amount, uh, deduct that amount. I just want to insert a line. So essentially, we applied the formula to determine the excess. I'm not sure if it's the appropriate terminology, but we've determined the excess. And the excess has been determined by taking into account uh, all those amounts. So essentially what happened is we, we took um, the residue of the contributions and we added the qualifying medical expense from and then uh, section 6b specifically states that if you want to get a deduction uh, there's two amounts must exceed that amount because they do exceed that amount we got a positive amount of 9545 our additional i'm going to do it there our additional Medical tax credit expense will be term will be calculated as allow me to quickly go there will be calculated as nine five four five and we're going to multiply that by I need to go insert we're going to multiply that by twenty five percent once more again twenty five percent it's a rule it's a fixed rule Essentially, once we've determined that, for us to get the additional medical tax expense, there will, will, will be a rebate that will be 
uh, deducted against your tax expense, we're going to take, uh, I'm going to say equals to, I'm going to take um, that amount. I'm going to multiply that amount by, I'm going to multiply it by 25%. It's a fixed rule. Please, you have to practice this as a rule. Uh, I'm going to slot a minus there because I want it to be a rebate. There you go. There you go. So it, it was a long, complex calculation. You need to practice this calculation more than once. Uh, if you practice, I'm sure you'll get it right in the final exam. So it, 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 you, you, didn't, you didn't just take those amounts and put them there. If you take those amounts, that's exactly what most students do. You take those amounts, you put them there, you won any, any, any marks. So you had you have to do th that calculation to determine, um, let's quickly go there, to determine uh, that amount that you're going to multiply with a 25%. 25%, it's a fixed rule for all taxpayers in South Africa that will be entitled to additional medical tax credit as a result of them contributing to medical aid. That's a calculation they have to go through before they can get to that amount. Uh, this is where I'm going to end before... Um, yeah, this is where I'm going to end in the next uh, presentation. I, I'm hoping to complete uh, question four by calculating the tax expense uh, attributable to lump sums. Thank you.